Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Digital Exchange 2017. Um, I'm co-founder uh, and CEO of Applause. Started the company about nine years ago. This is one of the great milestones for us in, you know, in, in the lifetime of Applause. The first ever customer event. Truly excited to share some innovative ideas to you with you guys. I see a lot of uh, familiar faces in the audience. Uh, looking forward to spend a lot of time with you today. Obviously, we have a great line of speakers. First and foremost, I want to thank you. I want to thank you to, for making applause part of your quality solution, part of ensuring the digital experience for your customers is being done with applause. Applause today is integrated into thousands of enterprise solutions worldwide in order to deliver better quality, better digital experience for your customers and users. When we picked the name applause, the focus on was on let's help our customers get more applause from their customers and their users. So I want you to look around the room here today, okay, look next to you. Uh, in addition to a great line of speakers from great companies, we also have great participation for, from some of our top tier strategic type of customers. And in this room here, okay, there's digital experts from all kinds of, uh, all kinds of uh, organizations as well as all kinds of job responsibilities. We have CMOs, chief digital officers, VP of engineering, people from DevOps, people from QA and test quality. Okay? So please take the time during the breakout session to socialize, share ideas about innovation, okay? and expand your uh, uh, relationship within your fellow DX experts. So if you look at this uh, photo here, this is actually an actual live photo from a, from a camera of a big wall that we have in our headquarters. Okay? And one of the things that I did when I started the company about nine years ago is that we invited a street artist to come to the company, and we basically said, you know what, let's put all the great milestones that the company is going over. Because my wife always says that when you build a company, it's like raising a child. Okay? It's an evolution over time, and you need to invest in it. And then it's very important to write all those critical milestones so you remember them. So when we reached 100,000 people in our community, that was a milestone. When we raised money, that was a milestone. When we got a big enterprise customer, that was a milestone. And we kept on diligently adding the milestone throughout the years. When I started Applause uh, about nine years ago, I was always passionate about our customers. Applause has five core values. And when we went and codified those values, value number one is deliver applause. Okay? And that's deliver applause to your fellow employee, deliver applause to the community members that you work with, and obviously deliver applause to the customers that you work with. And how do we measure that deliver applause? So we measure NPS score or Net Promoter score on a quarterly basis in order to make sure that we listen to our customers and improve over time. Very much like you're doing as digital experts, using applause in order to listen to your customers and users and improve your digital experience. So let me take you a little bit through our NPS, or Not Promoter Score, customer journey. So when we started in the early years, we were a startup. We started measuring our NPS score. We are somewhere in the range of five. And I was a new CEO, young, or at least younger than I am today. Uh, and I asked other CEO friends that I was uh, friends with, you know, five, is that good or is that bad? And, you know, people told me, you know, many companies don't adver advertise their NPS, but you're somewhere between a service company and a B2B company. And I said, okay, that's good. That's a good measurement. Now let's focus on what our customers and users are telling us, and let's improve that. And that's exactly what we did. And magically enough, we grew between 20 and 30. And today, we cater to the most sophisticated brands in the world, the most innovative brands in the world. We work on the most important digital experience to the biggest and best brands, you. And I'm very happy to say that our NPS score is at an all-time high of 46. Not only that, it's actually been above 40 for three quarters in a row. Okay? And how does that compare, you ask? So that's how it compares. 
Service companies are somewhere in the range of minus 5, minus 10. By the way, the range of NPS is minus 100 to 100. Average B2B enterprise software companies are around 10 to 12. Best of breed B2B and enterprise software companies are in the 30s. Applause is 46. And we're not going to stop at that. And some of the most followed consumer brands in the world that have passionate following are somewhere in the 60s. So 46 is great, but we're not going to stop at that. We're continuing to do what you are doing with your customers and users. Listen to your customers and users. Listen to what they, they tell you on an ongoing basis and improve all the time. So digging in a little bit, digger, a little bit deeper, we listen to what you tell us applause is unique about. Okay? What is this unique thing about applause that delivers something that is very hard to deliver by your own? It's actually, in the past, was impossible to do, okay? And helps you, our customers, create an exceptional digital experience. And there's seven items, okay, that I'm going to take you through. Number one is better coverage, okay? Today, we give our customers unlimited coverage of mobile devices, OS, locations, different types of co connectivity, Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, etc., around the world at a moment's notice. If we were to compare it to a lab, so when you build a lab, you can buy 20, 30 devices, you have people maintaining it, it's one location, then maybe you can replicate it in, a, in another five areas around the world. If we look at the applause lab, it's infinite. We have 2.4 million connected devices, all available 24-7. 300,000 people maintaining it on an ongoing basis, growing at 50% year over year, year. And when we talk about that, this gives the power to test on any device, any configuration, any location, in real time, at a moment's notice, without any additional overhead. And it goes far beyond just mobile devices. It goes to all kinds of form factors. One of the most innovative brands that we work with is Audible. They're in the audience here today, so please spend some time with them. Their app is the number one rated app in the, in the, in the bookstore category. It's 4.95 ratings, the highest rated Amazon app. Okay? 4.95, almost five stars. Okay? And the reason is, is that because they focus diligently to ensure that their app works seamlessly across any type of device configuration. And that's not just mobile devices, okay? We are talking mobile sophistication of connected cars, different types of uh, speakers, smart speakers that they connect with, interactive TVs, different types of consoles. And focusing on that capability to cover this type of spread and make sure that your application works seamlessly, that's what gets you to 4.95 stars. Number two is scale. Okay? The capability to provide significant scale for testing, for feedback across the world. Okay? So let's take a little bit, let's take a quick look at a few numbers and metrics. So this year, 2017, We've passed 300,000 professional testers, which are vetted and rated on an ongoing basis. Okay? They are part of your extension, part of your team, in order to ensure the digital experience that you provide. We work in any country and any type of demographic, and this is available 24-7. And you can ramp it up, and you can ramp it down when you don't need it. That's what infinite scale is all about. Looking a little bit on the, num on, and the numbers and the execution in 2017, the scale is actually staggering. So we've completed in the nine months of 2017 30,000 test cycles for our customers, delivered 350,000 executed test cases and reported 400,000 approved issues. And that's across 140 countries, and that's across tens of thousands connected devices. Amazing scale. That actually translates to 2,600, and we'll see it in a second, 2,600 vetted submissions a day of value to you, our customers, so you can make the right product decision, the right quality decision to improve your digital experience. 
Number, th num number three out of the seven is in the wild. When I founded the company nine years ago, in the wild was a core value proposition that we built the company on. The pain that we saw in the market nine years ago was no matter how much we spend on testing, people, process, methodology, tools, money, when software got to the hands of real people, there's still multiple issues that were found. And the premise was, what if we can build a global community of test engineers that can test in the wild on real devices, real configuration, provide real feedback, something which is beyond what you can find in a lab environment. And we call that in the wild. We actually acquired the domain in the, in the wild.com at some point in time. I believe we still own it. Charlie. <laughs> so in the wild is a capability to get real feedback on location, on devices, in real time, on a continuous basis. And one of the brands, again, in the room with us today is Walmart. It's been a customer for the last seven years. We work with them to test all of their mobile application and all of, the world, all of their web application. And they focus diligently to test in the wild on an ongoing basis. From walk the aisle, just before the holiday season, to scan and pay, to renewing your prescription on your mobile phone and picking it up in the Walmart pharmacy, to ordering on your desktop and having an Uber driver drive it, to ordering it from your mobile phone and pick it up around the curve. And they test that in the wild in every location where you have a Walmart sto store. Think about the scale. Number four of the seven is velocity. Okay? Speed of innovation doesn't stop. Innovation is actually the most competitive advantage that brands like you have today. The capability to iterate and innovate quickly and release to the market on a continuous basis. Technology allows it today with CI, with the capability to push code by any developer anytime to production whenever you want to. The challenge is how do you do that while continuing to ensure quality on an ongoing basis? So, We've looked at some of the numbers in the last five years of what happens to a customer that starts with applause. How does his velocity actually change over time? So an average agile customer that starts with applause, and that's over the last five years, and I'm talking averages here, delivers a bill to market somewhere in the range of every 22 days. So kind of a three-week cycle for delivering, bill, delivering builds. So we looked at that type of uh, cohort over the lifetime of the customer, and the results were actually staggering around velocity and speed. After 10 builds, which is on average about four and a half months, they increased their velocity by 30%, basically moved from a three-week sprint to a two-week sprint cycle. And as they continue to move faster and, prov and have more scale, they continue to increase that over the next 10 builds by another 30%. Okay? And they can go all the way to daily continuous, not just on web, but also on native type of devices, getting the right coverage and the right quality. That's staggering velocity over time. That is staggering value. Number five is quality. The most, most important thing and the biggest differentiator between brands today is quality. Okay? How do you ensure quality over time? And why is that? It's because your brand is so tied to the quality of your digital, digital experience. And if something doesn't work, the cost of switching for a consumer or a user is actually zero. Okay? The expectation is that the application works like a light switch. And today's best experience is tomorrow's minimum barrier of entry. That is the world that we live in today. So we looked at, we crunched the numbers for the last five years, and that's what we saw from a quality perspective. We looked at critical, approved critical bugs per build. So when a customer starts with us, he has in the range of 45 appro approved critical bugs in cycle number one. And over the, the lifetime of 10 cycles, they reduce the amount of critical builds by 50%, cycle to cycle, build to build. And this reduction in critical bugs continues as they increase velocity over time. Okay? That's a lot of quality, and that's a lot of improvement in digital experience. Number six out of the seven is omnichannel. 
Omnichannel is a solution that we launched at the end of 2016 and actually was received with great adoption by our customer base. Omnichannel is uh, basically catching a huge amount of market share, not just in retail, it started in retail, but it's now in finance and insurance, the capability to basically take a picture of your accident and file a claim from your mobile phone, but then see what's going on on your desktop. And the expectation is that the switching between different types of form factor, different type of experiences, is actually seamless. When you look at a little bit of statistic, five years ago, the average, touch, the average amount of touch points before executing a buying decision was two. Today, it's six. And the expectation that you can move seamlessly between the different level of, ex of experiences. Another great brand in the room with us today is Delta Airlines. We've been working with them for the last year quite diligently. They have a 4.5. 8.5 star uh, application, both on Android as well as iOS in the, in the Apple App Store. And they actually perfected the omni-channel user customer experience. You can book a flight from your desktop. You can get your boarding card downloaded to your mobile phone, order an Uber, get to the airport, check in via terminal, board the flight, order your Wi-Fi, order your meal, all from your mobile phone all in a seamless omnichannel experience. A true exceptional experience. And Delta as a brand realized that in order to beat all of their competition, okay, they need to focus on customer experience. Customer experience is the biggest differentiator between enterprises and brands today. And stay with me for a second. Customer experience today is really digital experience. And they understood that and they perfected that. Number seven, and that's the last one, is payments. So payments came to the scene at the beginning of 2017. We launched our payment solution, both payment validation and payments testing, uh, at the beginning of the year. It has been received with great adoption. It's being used today by Facebook, globally, Airbnb, Amazon, and many other types of great brands. Google Android, Android Pay, which now works in 15 countries. MasterCard, which actually operates in 26 countries. The challenges in payment solution is far greater than just mobile devices. Significant amount of fragmentation, different rules and regulations in different countries, different types of, uh, uh, different types of terminals that need to operate, different type of financial uh, credit card issues that need to work right. And the complexity of making sure that all of those transactions work well it, this is highly, highly complex, and you need to do it in a very timely manner. And trust me, if something in payments doesn't work, it hurts top line, and it hurts the user experience really, really bad. Another great brand with us in the room today is Starbucks. They've actually been a pioneer of testing using your mobile devices. I'm sure everybody in the room, when they need a caffeine, you know, that's kind of what they go to. Uh, the capability to have a loyalty program within the mobile application and make that payments mechanism seamlessly integrated into the loyalty program. Actually perfected that. Another great brand with us in the room today is MasterCard. We've been working with them for the past five years, both on mobile automation, okay, automation testing, as well as manual testing in 26 countries. And operating payment solution in 26 countries with all the regulations, all the terminals, all the carriers is really, really complicated. And they've done that exceptionally well. Now, why am I telling you all that? Our goal as a company, Applause's goal as a company, is to focus on testing and quality. Make sure that, partner with you, and make sure that every bill that you put out there to your customers and your users, which are critical to your success, has been vetted and works truly in the wild across all devices, all scales, all different types of challenges, in order for you to provide a better customer experience and user experience. The people in the room here, you're the innovators. You come up with those ideas. You develop the prototypes. You actually develop the application. You are the true innovators. What we help you do is we help make your software humanly possible. Making sure that it is vetted in the wild on real devices, real configurations, with real people, giving you the feedback that you can make your software that you put in the hands of your users and your customers humanly possible. Because at the end of the day, the human 
is at the center of every app or every digital experience that we put out there. So as you innovate, we also invest in our core applause platform. So we're investing in three key areas as part of the applause platform. And we will show some live software today immediately after me. We're investing in our community in order to get you better, narrower type of demographics that you need in order to do your testing. We're investing in, your, in our community with the capability to have you bring your own community into the types of cycles that we run for you. So you can add your loyalty members if you want to, okay? And get true feedback from our community and from your community. We're investing in technology that provides location aware for our testers and can move them around if we need to, meaning get them to spe specific location at the moment notice. We're working on technology to provide better matching between the right project, the right cycle, and the right community members. And we are investing in technology to bring very close AI around the process of getting you the right feedback at the right time. We're also investing in our solutions, okay? And let me take you a little bit through that. So three high-level solutions that we provide to the market today. One is around digital testing. It includes functional testing, test automation, security and vulnerability with real-life hackers, and payments validation. The other one is Market Insights, which we launched at the beginning of 2017. The capability to get you real data, real research, so you can make the right product decision every time you need feet on the street in order to get this type of research data. And it's been being used quite extensively by Facebook on, on a very large project. And lastly is user feedback. The capability to get usability studies with video, fully moderated, wherever you need to, based on specific demographics that you want. And then accessi accessibility assessment. Okay, very important, not just in retail, but any time you put a digital uh, experience out there, you want to make sure that it works well with the right accessibility limitations. And lastly is customer journeys. Customer journeys is a solution that we launched in September of this year, so probably a month and a half in. Uh, it provides the capability for you, our customers, to create journeys which are digital or physical or combination there, thereof. It lets you uh, build your own customer journey, pick and select the demographic that you want to run the customer journey, and by click of a button, sending the community members that meet the matching in order to do that type of customer journeys. It gets you results in minutes. We'll demo it live in about 10 minutes. We'll show you how it works. But the last thing that I want to say is that the solution is so wide, was already widely adopted by our customer base. I'm actually going to take this back for a second. So CVS, the customer, is already using it in order to create customer journeys, in order to do uh, pick an order from your mobile phone and, and renew your subscription and pick it up at the CVS store. Okay? That's how they're testing their customer journeys. Another great customer is Shake Shack. When we started working with them, they didn't have a mobile application. The first thing we did, we tested it. The second thing we did is we used customer journeys and user journeys to get 100 people to a specific location in a Shake Shack in New York City, all within an hour window. So 100 people within an hour window to a specific location of a Shake Shack branch, order ahead, pick it up in store, and report about the whole customer ex experience. How did the app work? Did I get it in time? Did the clerk know how to run the terminal in, so I can pay for it? And did my food, was my food warm and did I like it? So making sure that not only the mobile application works, but the whole experience is flawless. And now they've already run it in 16 different branches, again, every time utilizing the customer journeys of more than 100 people. So I want to thank you one last time. I'm going to invite uh, my friend, Applause CTO, Tom Kinney, uh, and what he'll do is actually demo a live demo of customer journeys. Thank you very much. Hope to spend time with you today. Thanks, Charlie, too, for allowing me some time to share with you some of the great technology that we've built. 
Understanding the customer journey is critical. It's critical in every aspect of what we do every day. It not only makes our businesses better, but it makes our own lives better. Mapping, validating, understanding what that customer journey is and how it affects your brand value is one of the most important problems we're trying to solve in business today. And what we're doing at Applause is we're bringing the digital and physical experiences together to deliver incredible brand value for our customers. So for a customer journey, in Applause's eyes, it's all the ways that a customer interacts with a brand, every touch point along the way. Think about ordering something online at your desktop. Think about checking that order on your mobile device. Think about going to pick up that order or having that order delivered. These are all parts of the omni-channel experience. And even looking further afield, think about the integrations with your watch. Think about integrations with Alexa. We can already order directly on Alexa for a product to be shipped directly to our house. As we think about what the future is of IoT and how we're working for every one of those touch points, there are an incredible amount of opportunities for us. I mean, I'm looking forward to the day when I can say, Alexa, make me breakfast. Because I can tell you how it goes when I ask my wife the same question. It doesn't work the same way. And that's a challenge and a friction point that we want to be able to understand. So when we're talking about the customer journey, we're talking about all those touch points, the good, the bad, the ugly. We need to solve those problems so that we deliver greater brand value to our customers. You need to solve those problems so you deliver greater brand value to your customers. We want to be sure that we're keeping an eye on whether or not we're getting lower conversion rates, how long the eyeballs are on a site, whether it's a mobile site or whether it's a desktop site. Where are the lost uplift opportunities? 1% of uplift in some of our customers represents hundreds of millions of dollars in lost revenue. So what we're trying to do with these customer journeys is we're shifting the feedback. Historically, we have looked after we've launched an app in the wild, it's gone through engineering, it's gone through a QA process, you probably had some beta testers, and it's gone out into the wild. That customer feedback needs to get all the way back to the left, needs to get to the point where we are using these insights and this feedback to design the next generation of product. That feedback is one of the most important data points that we have, and bringing the physical and digital experiences together will help with that. We want to let the insights of a customer journey feed the future vision of the product. So today, we're going to show you a demo. We're going to show you how it can positively impact your customer's perception of your brand, how it can increase sales, how it can create better opportunities for you across markets you may not even have thought of yet. And we've built the Applause platform to do just that. So I'm going to welcome Ken Petzold, who's our Senior Product Marketing Manager, to the stage. And he's going to help us with this demo. The first thing I'd like to show you is the experience of the participant view in the mobile device. Our mobile app operates on Android and iOS, and it's available from the app stores to download for anyone around the world. This CVS journey is a participant journey, as Drone talked about, to have an experience of buying something and replying on what that was like. And what's important is that they're doing this through these steps that are enabling CVS to understand where in the process are their friction points, where are the challenges, and where are the opportunities going forward. The app is going to guide them step by step, like Ken is doing now, working through the app, taking a picture in one of the tasks, uploading that image, answering some questions. What's important about what Ken's doing now is he's living this experience. It's not in a lab. It's not beta testers in their home. It's not a tester in your office with their device just testing this out. It is someone live trying to work with CVS and provide an experience. So as you walk through this app, this is the journey. And the really cool thing about this is that the journey can have an impact on that insight and that feedback at every point along the way. One of the things that research shows us is that whatever your last experience was influences what your feedback is. If your last experience of a three-step journey is awful, your survey is going to be awful. It doesn't matter what happened in the beginning. It's barely influenced. These touch points along the way provide greater value of that feedback that we're getting. So let's show you just how valuable these results are. 
we're going to switch over to our demo laptop, and we're going to bring up the Applause platform to show you the results of CVS. Now, this is a very, very intuitive tool, easy to understand. And what's great about it is that we're showing you not just the results, but we're showing you the results in real time. We're showing you these results as they come in. One of the great things about this is you can start a journey, and you can expect that journey to go for two weeks. And if in the first two days something's really blowing up, you can adjust. You can change. You can iterate very, very quickly, just like you iterate in your software development. So as we look at this, we can even see some of these screen recordings. Ken, why don't we open one of these screen recordings here? This is an opportunity for you to experience what your customer is experiencing. What are they seeing? How are they working through the app? And you can even hear what they're saying to provide that feedback. We're going to talk a little later today about some really cool Internet of Things technology, how that's impacting automation, how that's impacting the world. And when we talk about Watson natural language processing, advanced machine learning tools, there are things that we'll be able to do with these videos and these images that you've never thought possible. And you can consume these insights to understand what's next and what to build. So let's walk through how easy this is. We're going to reach out to our community around the world. We're going to put them on a scavenger hunt. We're going to collect some videos, some images. And at the end of the day, we'll share those results. So let's take a look at how easy this is. The first thing we're going to do is describe what our project is. And then we're going to add participants. Ken, how many participants can we add for a cycle like this? Oh, we could add hundreds, tens, hundreds, uh, anyone across the globe, anyone in the community. Across the globe and across the community, but we've got, what, 140, 150 countries represented? Pretty much every country, every territory in the world. That's awesome. So why don't we just invite everybody? One of the cool things about this, when we show you the results at the end of the day, is you'll be able to see our testers and our participants around the world providing the feedback from this journey. And if we look at this, we can talk about gender and age. Well, what about language? Are we limited to English, Ken? Nope. Just as many uh, countries around the world, whatever language they speak, we can add that as well. Well, let's add them all in. Let's add them all in and see how broad of a reach the applause community. And this is going to provide feedback on any number of things. So if we move over to adding our product, we're talking about prototypes, mock-ups, pre-release apps, websites, just about anything. Anything in the world that intersects digital and digital is what we want to be able to allow you to do. And one of the things that we're focused on from a user experience in our own platform is to make it as easy and simple to build these journeys. So we're going to go ahead and start creating a journey. We can ask any question phrased any sort of way to get the kind of results that we need. So what are you doing here, Ken, with the journey intro? So here we're going to give them a description. Uh, just like we saw in the participant app, before they actually agree to do this, they're going to see what they're actually going to have to do. So what's the purpose of it, where they're going to have to travel to, any sort of information they need. So when they open the participant web app, this is the first thing they're going to see. Correct. Gets them connected. Interesting. So when they open this in the web app, does this also mean that they've got to somehow know that it's there? Nope. So they get an alert, uh, both email notification, push notification. Uh, basically, as soon as they're invited, they'll see that information. All right. Well, let's see what kind of fun we can have with our community. Maybe the first question we can ask is, what's a great digital experience? So Ken's going to add some descriptions here about what a great digital experience is. Get some feedback from our participants. What should we add for what they want to provide? Screen recording? Yes, yeah, so I think it'd be good. We'll see them record their screen. We'll have them talk through, say, I like this part because you know, it's really easy, intuitive. Uh, Narrate through it, give us the screen. I like that. That'll be cool, too, to see at the end of the day some of these live videos as well. So we can build in a few more questions. We can do multiple choice. We can do freeform text. But let's get something right up to the top. Let's talk about what's the most important thing for a digital experience. We can just ask this question in freeform text. Pretty easy to build, huh, Ken? Exactly. So he's putting this in here. And notice that while he's building this, you can see the live update of what's happening on the mobile device. This is because our platform is based on an event streaming model. 
Why this is important, if you think about the Internet of Things, just about everything connected devices around the world is based on an event. It's based on an event stream that then creates an experience. We want to be able to capture all that information, capture all that data, so that we can replay that back to customers. You can see the value of what your customer is doing along the journey at every individual point, whether they're typing something, clicking a button, or recording a video. This all provides a tremendous amount of data Data that really gives us the valuable information that we need to make the right kind of product decisions. The higher value order to understand how people are interfacing with apps and with websites is one of the most important things we can do. But not everybody has good experiences, right, Ken? Nope, we see that all the time. All the time. Did you know that only one in four apps downloaded from the App Store are opened more than once? That's 25%. A quarter of the population of the world downloads something, looks at it, and it's like, meh, this is useless to me. What am I going to do? If that's your app, let's figure out why that is. So we're going to add in here a question about what is a negative customer experience? What's missing? And then we're going to follow up with a question on which tech gets people most excited every day. So let's talk about that question, Ken. What is it? Why is it important to us about what's coming next? Well, we obviously don't want to spend time and money building things that are not going to resonate with the customers. Um, so if they're looking for a VR, AR, you know, maybe that's something that we explore. But if they're not interested in it, maybe that's lower in the priority list. Excellent. And this is where some of the real fun starts in the world. The digital of the intersection of digital and digital coming together in a convergence in a way of where we're looking in the future is something that's really exciting for all of us. And the faster we're moving to catch up with that wave of technology, the better brands we're going to have. So it's more and more necessary to gather feedback in the context of the environment, engage customers where they live their lives. That convergence of digital and physical is personal to every single participant. So how can we get people engaged here, Ken? So I think what we'll do is we'll send them to somewhere close by. Uh, let's say they're in Paris. Go to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, some nearby landmark. Let's have them take a video selfie with it and say, I make software humanly possible. So it's blending that physical and digital, just like you would take someone and bring them into a store uh, for your omni-channel experiences. We'll do that in a little bit of a fun way here with the community. This is going to be a lot of fun with the community. We've got community all over the world. We're going to see some interesting results. So let's get the community on the move, and we'll have them take a video. So we got to wrap this up, though, with something that's real, right, Ken? I mean, we want to know that they're doing this today if we're going to show results at the end of the day. We do. So I think the best way to do that is we'll have them take a selfie, a picture this time, uh, something that has today's date on it. So a newspaper, maybe their phone, something on the TV. Uh, I'll have them do that, upload it to us, and we'll take a look at it later. Excellent. You know, what's interesting about these selfies, whether it's a selfie picture of you, whether it's a picture of a receipt to confirm you've done something, one of the really interesting things that we're building into our platform are some cool artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. We want to be able to automatically validate some of these results for you so it's not a manual process. All right, Ken, let's kick this off. Let's do it. We kick this off. This goes out into our community more than 100 countries around the world, for whatever language, wherever they are. And Ken's done a great job helping us just see what's possible on the Applause platform. So I'd like to welcome back my friend Charlie, and he'll continue with the day. Thanks, Ken. Done. Good job, guys. So uh, we saw live software. None of this was pre-baked, right? So I would like to thank our guys for doing live software here at our first conference. But we've deployed live software all around the world, right? How long do you think that's going to take to get the results back? So my guess is we'll have everything wrapped up in like three and a half hours. But I think within the first hour, we'll see lots of submissions coming. Within the first hour. So, that, yeah. uh, so live demo deployed around the world. I think this is an industry first. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Charlie.